as a mission we have been working within the Valley of the Alto Guariata for the last 30 years. We've been trying to establish ourselves within Penidroya, but there are other towns which are in the same area. We have contacts in Azuaga, 40 kilometers away. But let me just tell you about one Romanian who has been working in Fuente Bejuna. He's a laborer, contractor, and he began to come along to our church from some 17 kilometers away. And he really got to like what we were doing there. He decided that he would settle in this town, Fuente Bejuna, and he brought his whole family back. They're an established Christian family, three young people within the family. They have joined in actively. And now as a result of what the church is doing in Peñaroya, we are now able to get to the point where we have not just one cell group in Peñaroya, not even just two, but we can now have another cell group in Fuente Bejuna. And the basis of that man offering his house, lovely Christians, they are not missionaries, but they are doing the work on the basis of what ECM is doing within Peñaroya in order to open up a new area within the valley. That is what is transforming lives in Europe. And God is working, God is building His church in Peya, Kosovo. Uh, we are encouraged, we are very blessed, we are privileged to work with God in that church. Uh, I can just tell you a story of an old man who, who was 60 when he became a Christian. And uh, four years later, his wife came to us and said, he has changed, he is a better husband, he is a, a better husband's home, even the family, so God changes lives. I have so many other cases, mothers come and say, what happened to my son? He's a changed person. That's what we want to do, we want to preach Jesus Christ so that he can change people's lives in Peya, Kosovo. Thank you. Harold and Sherik and I were walking Harold's dog in a neighborhood of Maastricht where there's about 80% unemployment. And uh, the dog started playing with another dog and having great fun, barking and playing. And the owner was sitting outside enjoying the sun. And he wondered why three people were in the area uh, walking around. And he invited us for coffee and we got chatting. It turned out that he was a silversmith and he was too ill to work. Cherik actually invited him to his home and then after a few weeks invited him to Sheffield to meet a community of Christians there who were living their life with gospel intentionality, doing everything every day for the gospel. And now Cherik and Annika have opened their home and are planting a network of home-based churches in Maastricht. And I'm very, very excited because people like the silversmith uh, has found a welcoming community which embodies the kingdom of God. It is my honor and privilege uh, for me as a pastor and a missionary with ECMI to preach the mighty gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ on a national TV station on Sunday mornings from 8 in the morning to 9. And the, the wonderful news that I received and I've, I learned from uh, Florine is that around 3 million people are listening and are viewing this, uh, this program uh, on Sunday mornings. So can you imagine uh, how powerful Christian media is and the beautiful thing is that thousands of these people, as far as I understand, they are giving their lives uh, to our Lord. Praise the Lord for that. Four million. This number shows how many Muslims live currently in Germany. It is really exciting to see that ECM gets more and more the conviction to reach these people. And we can't ignore them anymore, let other people do the job for us. God spread them around the world to make it easier for us Christians to reach them with the gospel. God has given us resources, God has given us a network, and I believe also open doors. ECM North Germany is partnering right now with the Free Evangelical Church of North Germany. As we met with the leader, he told us that right now there is no church plan happening among these people in Hamburg. And he told us that if we would like to work there, we would get all the necessary support from them. What an invitation, what an open door. And we have also other places in mind, Freiburg, Frankfurt or Berlin. Therefore, we are sharing this idea and this vision among the Christians around the world. If people are willing and devoted to move and live among these unreached people, it needs a long-term commitment. As soon as we find interested people, we will move forward in sitting together and forming a strategy and setting up a platform for seeing God's glory revealing among these people. 
Brenda kishe thon ne kemi një shërbes shumë të rëndësishme me njerëz me ansitë kufizuar. In our church we have a very good service with people with learning disabilities. Edhe kjo ka qenë një vizion shumë i gjatë për kishën tonë për të thirrur këta njerëz në kish. We had this vision long time ago to invite them to church. At ne i thresim çdo javë ata në në qendër edhe i pregatisim një një kamp ditor. We have a, in our church they come every week for a, a day's camp. Edhe një kosish që ne merim me 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 fëmijët duke i zhvilluar ata, por paralel merim edhe me prindit e tyre. We work with children but also with their parents. Edhe që gjithë ky qëllim është që ne të 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 unjëlizojmë prindit dhe të trajnojmë ata që të kujdesin për fëmijët e tyre që i kanë me aftësi të kufizuar. This way we evangelize the parents and also teach them how to deal with the children with learning disabilities. E, edhe kjo ka sill një 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 reputacion shumë të mirë. This gave us a good reputation in the town. Sepse qeveria ose institucionet e ndryshme kanë kanë shumë pak mangësi ose shumë pak mundsi për të punuar me këta. Because our government cannot work much with these people. Edhe për këtë ne thresim njerëz të specializuar sidomos nga ECMI Irland. We have special people coming to us from Northern Ireland, ECM to help us. Skuadra të ndryshme vin me dë, që kanë janë fizioterapist edhe ata ndihmojnë në të dyja krat, edhe me fizioterapi me fëmijët, por njëkohësisht edhe me unjëlizimin e prindërve. Different teams come to do physiotherapy with children and also they, they also help the parents. Edhe mund të shikojmë që ndoshta ata nuk kuptojnë shumë si fëmi, po është knajsi ku i shikon që ata janë shumë të qeshur dhe të gëzuar. Maybe they don't understand much as children but they are happy and they they have fun with us. Edhe tashmë mund të shikojmë dhe prindit e tyre që vinë në kishë dhe të lindrojnë Zotin, po ndryshojnë jetën. Now we see the parents coming to church and starting to change their lives.